Unpack your CK107 LP low pressure stainless steel wok cooker by opening the cardboard box and take the cooker out carefully. Check that there's no damage to the cooker, hose and regulator. The low pressure regulator and hose was assembled and tested in the factory before packing and loading. Please read the operating instructions carefully before use. The trivet is located at the bottom of the box. The CK107 LP must be sitting flat on a non-combustible level surface. Check your gas bottles, parts are clean and undamaged and have sufficient gas. To connect the gas regulator to the gas bottle, make sure the gas bottle is turned off. Turn the hand wheel on the regulator anti-clockwise to connect. Check for leaks by spraying soapy water on all connections. If bubbles appear, there's a leak. Retighten the connections. Never use a naked flame such as a match to check for gas leaks. Turn on the gas bottle by turning the knob anti-clockwise. To purge air out of the burner hose, turn the control knob a couple of times. Once the LP gas reaches the ignition pilot and main burner, the burner can be ignited. To achieve a normal flame, adjust the air control plate. Open for more air supply. Closed for less. Too much air will cause the flame to jump. Not enough air and the flame will be soft, long, red and yellow and produce carbon monoxide. Adjust until the flame looks just right. For wok cooking, rotate the knob anti-clockwise to the middle position to achieve a high flame. Rotate the knob clockwise from the middle position to turn down the flame for pan frying. Rotate the knob anti-clockwise from the middle position to turn off the outer ring for simmering. Rotate the knob anti-clockwise to the lowest to turn the inner flame down for a keep warm function. Turn the knob clockwise to the top position to turn the burner off. After use, turn off the gas valve on the gas bottle and ignite the burner to allow it to burn off any residual gas. Then turn off the gas valve of the cooker and the gas bottle. Do not touch the cooker during or shortly after use as it can get very hot and cause severe burns. Please refer to the instruction manual for more safety tips.